beige. This is Ralph of Rosa Pearl Eustachian. This is me in February of 2024. So I had done another tape uh, with my pictures in it, and someone shopped the video and said it was me in 2014. And unfortunately, our society will not be successful uh, with that lie. No one will learn and do better. And unfortunately, there was a cop who was only 30 years of age who somehow... I don't understand. I, I can't make a full assessment of what was going on with him. But his ideas, he brought them onto the job. He brought some strange ideals onto the job. And I don't know, and I cannot say that he is isolated in his thinking. But someone shopped my video and said, this is me in 2014. Now, this is me in 2024 just some months ago, and I have been depleted. These people are making me sick and attracting illness to me right in my own home. Uninvited people, and this is all being staged, and I reviewed this already. It's being staged by the police and who are staging it and asking me to call and are saying they're exhausted with my phone calls yet they're coming in every night, and I'm getting sick and looking unlike myself. But it's not fair to me that someone would come in and shop my video and say, this is me in 2014. This was just some months ago in 2024. If you love your officers, you'll help them respect all races, and you're not blessed. There are too many issues going on in the world today for us to believe that one race is blessed over the other. When we say we have all the peace and we have all the privilege and we, we're the best, Jehovah says, well, we're sorry, but there's too much wrong going on all around you for you to feel that you are the blessed race. And unfortunately, no one can toot being the best of any race. And God asks us to consider everyone or our neighbor as superior to us. And this allows us to have peace. But someone has ideals that they're trying to force down my throat as it's not enough to just say, well, I'm going to be prejudiced. Now prejudice is coming into somebody's home and trying to harm them really badly to the point of torture. And a Jehovah's Witness who understands what kind of world they're living in is not going to buckle, but they are going to understand that they have to rely on God. So everyone should rely on their creator and consider the other as superior to them. We ought to love our neighbor. At this point, knowledge is good, but not to be dealt like drugs, contraband, or prohibition. That's not what knowledge is for. So maybe it's better to share what the Bible has to say on this matter. We need to love our neighbor, and we need to be obedient to God, because that way everyone stays safe and safe at home, on the streets, in the households, everywhere. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor enough not to bully them to the point, to the point where they don't know what to do. I have no idea who can tolerate the suffering that I've been through. So I would never encourage anyone to treat their neighbor like this. Never. Just love your neighbor, be obedient, and everyone will have paradise. But if your point is that you're going to ruin paradise for somebody, then you're not doing the right thing, and you can't imagine that you're going to have blessings. Because all around you, people will say, well, you'll say my house is well set up and established, but Jehovah says, well, you know, the earth is crumbling. 
Knowledge is not meant to be dealt, it's meant to make one wiser, so this video is not for resale. But this is me in 2024, some months ago. Thank you. This is really weird. Some people really want to lie, and they really want to lie. So unfortunately, we can't. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, so we have to. Sorry, private conversation. Mm -hmm.